I'm Darren at Desai, your SolidWorks guy, and this is a SolidWorks 2-Minute Tech Tip. Every release of SolidWorks sees some great new enhancements, but if you make molds and tools, then SolidWorks 2017 has something great for you. Molds and tools commonly have a lot of cooling lines, and those cooling lines are generated using hole features. Now, a lot of times those hole features are a combination of several different cuts uh, and or hole wizard features combined. So in 2017, we added something called the advanced hole. Let me show you what this looks like. Now, it's not as much of an advanced hole as it is a compound hole. It's found under the hole wizard pull down menu. What it activates is a nifty flyout menu that shows up over next to your property manager. You select a face just like you do in a traditional hole wizard. In this particular case, what I want to do is put a few locations in there. I like to put one on the edge because it's sort of an on-the-fly section view. So back to the settings. Each element within each stack gets settings. So here we have a counter bore with its corresponding settings, but you can switch that to many different types. If we switch it to a drill hole, we can choose a size from a pull-down menu, and then from there we can go ahead and determine the depth. In this case, we're just gonna do a very shallow spot face. Now you can add to the stack either above or below the existing element. Select this button and it will put it in position and then just choose the method that you'd like to use. Here we'll use a tapered thread. Again, we select from the pull down menu and determine the depth. We'll add one more to this side of the stack. Again, a clearance hole. Now we're going to put holes on both sides. So here we have to select the far side face, as it can be a variable depending on the thickness of the part that we're using it on. Now working on the opposite side, we do the same things. Choose the type of hole, and then choose the depth. We'll finish this one up with another shallow spot face. Now it'd be a shame to go through all of these settings just to have to redo them from scratch every single time that you want to use those. So of course, once we've accepted this, we can save these holes to our favorites library. The next time we need to access a hole of this type, it's as simple as starting the command again, and then just simply accessing the favorites from the property manager. We'll select our face, again, choose advanced hole, and choose from our favorites. Once again, because the parts thickness can be variable, we have to select the far side face. Selecting again from the favorites allows us to quickly change to a standard. Now here's a part that's a little bit more sophisticated. Looks great. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more information like this, make sure you follow us on YouTube and on Twitter. Until next time, I'm Darren at Desai, your SolidWorks guy.